Hey, it's Monday morning and I just wanted to do a quick check-in and let you know how my surgery went. So I went to the hospital on Friday. My surgery was around noon. I think I had a little easier time than my daughter when I first woke up. I wasn't too bad. Of course, I hit that happy button as frequently as I could remember to do so. So I think that probably helped. But I slept okay. The pain wasn't too bad. Walked a little bit. They brought me uh, stuff to drink, uh, you know, like a tray. And I thought, ew. And I tried to take a few sips, but didn't get very far. My biggest fan was ice chips. I really, really liked the ice chips. Got a lot of ice chips. Um, Saturday I got home about 3 o'clock and I still felt pretty good, but I think I still had a lot of morphine in me. Um, had to take my daughter to urgent care who was sick, came home, pretty much went to bed. Um, my first night home was the toughest. I kept waking up. I feel like all my body has been rewired. I can't read it anymore. Am I hungry? Am I not hungry? Am I thirsty? Am I not thirsty? Do I need to eat something? Maybe I shouldn't eat something. You know, the sensations in my belly don't match anything, so they're hard to interpret. So my first night was tough. Um, I kept waking up about every hour and a half, and then I'd get up and I wouldn't know what to do with myself. So I'd try a couple bites of Jello. No, that wasn't it. Or um, I'd drink a little bit of water, or you know, and I'd try and go back to sleep. And it was just, it wasn't painful. It was just, I felt lost. I felt physically sort of lost. Um, Sunday morning, I usually have all the neighbors over for coffee. It's this big thing I've been doing for uh, quite a while, five or six years. And I got up and I started trying to get get it together and that wasn't going to happen. So I canceled coffee and I decided I'm just going to go back to bed. I, I just really want to go back to bed. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. And so I just gave myself permission to take the day off. And if I had to stay in bed all day, so what? I'd stay in bed all day. And that's exactly what I did. So I went and I was pretty much in bed. I mean, I got up about, again, every hour and a half. I'd wake up, I'd take a little walk, I'd sip something. Um, I had a protein shake for breakfast Sunday morning, and that was really yummy. I never thought a protein shake would taste so good, but I think I was really hungry. <laughs> um, and pretty much slept all day. Ended up taking my daughter back to the emergency room Sunday night. That wiped me out. We were only there for an hour and a half. They really had it organized, and so we kind of got in and out for an emergency room visit. It was pretty quick, but I just wanted to get home and lay down. I just felt like I needed to lay down, so I came home, and in my clothes, I just lay down and passed out, and again, woke up an hour and a half later, got in my jammies, and just sort of had another night. The pain, I'm not taking any pain medication at this point. Um, I'm really bloated. My stomach is all lumpy and bumpy and has, I, I guess, where it's swollen in places and has bloating in other places, so it's kind of funny looking. I can't lay on my belly, which I kind of miss, but I'm more of a side sleeper, so that's okay. Um, I just kind of feel discombobulated. You know, it's, it's just hard to read my body at this point, and so I'm getting into more of an intellectual routine, like, okay it's morning. I need to have some protein shake. Okay. You know, it's afternoon time for a sugar-free jello or a popsicle or something. And I can't even eat a whole popsicle at this point. Um, a whole sugar-free popsicle and not the double ones, the single stick ones. Um, and we also have the sugar-free kind of fake chocolate ice milk things on a stick. I can't eat those. I feel like I'm eating brown sugar straight out of the jar so my body's really sensitive right now but overall I'm okay I'm just kind of tired a little bit sore I, I, and I and I'm nauseous I'm not getting sick much the first night I got sick a couple times but no big deal um, 
but I feel kind of, you know, and you know when you have that borderline nausea so that nothing sounds good, and yesterday it was a beautiful day here in the Bay Area, I think every single one of my neighbors was out barbecuing, oh, and the smell of the cooked whatevers and the sauces, and whoa. anyway, so I guess that's good, <laughs> I didn't run around eating hamburgers all day. So it's definitely an experience. I really just want to feel better and get my energy back. I want this borderline nausea to go to way. My daughter keeps ensuring me to be patient, not one of my virtues. So hopefully in the next few days, I'll start feeling like myself again. So I survived. I'm on the loser's bench. There's no turning back now. And you know, it's funny because in our support group, at my hospital, they're always asking the people who have been on this path, you know, for a while, do you regret it? Are you sorry that you did it? Okay, I have to admit that first night when I was waking up every hour and a half and I couldn't read my body's signals anymore, I thought, what have I done? This is insane. But there's no turning back now, right? And I guess that's part of why I chose this option. Because it would help me get on a path to get my health back in order. And that's what's important. It's more important than looking like a fashion model or... I mean, sure, I want to be thin, but I just want to be healthy. And I want to be independent. And, and losing weight and maybe being thin is sort of the frosting on the cake. I just want to be able to move and walk, retire my cane. So uh, yeah, I did have a night of, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this, this is insane. But I'm coming to terms with it because there's no turning back now. So here we go. Um, I'll check in at the end of the week with my one week weight loss and check in. And Thanks, Hubert, for that great video. I loved it. It was so inspiring. And you're right. You will be on the loser's bench soon. Okay. Take care, everybody. Bye.